Sagittarius, you need to know this right now for June the 28th through June the 29th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for June the 28th through June the 29th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Sagittarius for June the 28th through June the 29th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Sagittarius for June the 28th through June the 29th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Sagittarius. Sag, these are your cards, honey. So, Sag, you have the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus. A high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So Sag, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. So Sag could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using your intuition concerning something or searching your emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Sag, could be dealing with a Gemini. Now you can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull. Yes. You can tell me there's another other lover, but the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers for Sagittarius. Clarify the lovers for Sagittarius. Clarify the lovers for Sagittarius. Sag, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lusts, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself, and hold yourself back from something. So Sag, listen, could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back, or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Sagittarius. Clarify strength for Sagittarius. Clarify strength for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the four pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. 
Now, this could also be a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So, Sag, listen, you could be closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coins, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. Sag, listen, now... This can be an opportunity with work or business coming in here, okay? And you're searching your emotions, using your intuition on what you should do. You could be holding back, Sag. Holding back with strength and holding back with the four of pentacles. Sag could also be that there's someone that you have some type of twin flame connection with that may be offering you dinner and a movie or a token of love here, Sag. And maybe you're kind of holding back from it trying to restrain yourself from it, or you're keeping it close to your chest here, Sag. Huh. Sag, you have the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Sag, listen, you know, someone may have commitment on the brain here. However, in tarot, tens are ending. So it could be ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. So Sag, are you holding back from going into a commitment? Or you're holding back from someone because you're in a commitment? Clarify the Ten of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Ten of Cups. A Sagittarius. It is clarified with you, Sag, temperance. The universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So, Sag, this is you. Clarified temperance for Sagittarius. Clarify temperance for Sagittarius. What about Sag? What about Sag? Clarify temperance for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking your truth. Spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Sag, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Swords. For Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Seven of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something, someone being deceptive, someone strategically devising a plan of action, someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So Sag, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness or sneaking off. Now Sag, listen, you know, this partner that you may be in some type of commitment with may have been deceptive and you're like questioning them, confronting them, Sag. Yes. Maybe you're kind of closed off to them, even though they may be giving you a token of love here or speaking of commitment. There may have been some type of deception. <clears throat> but Sag, <clears throat> I want to know, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're being tempted here. And so you're wanting to get to the bottom of you guys' already established commitment where we're going, you know, how's this going to pan out because things are a little rocky before you take some type of leap somewhere else or go somewhere else because I feel like something else is calling you, Sag. Sag, you have the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you. 
Now, this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release a burden. So, Sag, you're telling me that you're having a difficult time. Something is burdensome, and you're just wanting to release it. Clarify the 10 of Wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the 10 of Wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the 10 of Wands for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the 7 of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense. But this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. And this could be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me your standoff is shunning and setting boundaries with this person. Or you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense here. Now, Sag, listen, you can tell me you're burdened by the whole situation. You're kind of standoff is shunning and setting boundaries because they committed this deception. They had another other lover and you're closed off to them. You're blocked off, closed off to them, Sag. I don't care what they're offering here. But, Sag, has it become a burden to you? Because you have something else going on over here. And you're trying to explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense here. Because I feel like you're in a commitment. I don't, I don't know. I just don't know why. I just want to blame you, Sag. Sag, you have the two of pentacles. <laughs> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This could be you managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me that you're weighing things up, trying to decide, should you, shouldn't you? Or you're telling me that juggling has taken place here. Clarify the two of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the two of pentacles for Sagittarius. Cards flipping. <clears throat> who is that? Who, 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 who? Hey, clarify the two of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the two of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the two of pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with this ace of pentacles over here. So a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure here, okay? This can be money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. You're juggling, should I, shouldn't I? I don't know, I'm holding myself back. It's over here, should I, shouldn't I? Hmm. Is this offer coming in from someone that you're juggling? I just want to know. Inquiring minds need to know. Listen, Sag, you have the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a Ten, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So, Sag, you're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. However, in tarot, Tens are ending, so you could be coming up out of feeling this sense of betrayal. Clarify the Ten of Swords. For Sagittarius, clarify the Ten of Swords. For Sagittarius, clarify the Ten of Swords. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So, Sarge, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Clarify the page of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen 
is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So Sag could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. So Sag could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you can tell me that you're getting your wish, following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Clarify the star for Sagittarius. Clarify the star for Sagittarius. Clarify the star for Sagittarius. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So, Sag, listen, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness in a second chance. Or you're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for Sagittarius. Clarify judgment for Sagittarius. Clarify judgment for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leora Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Sag, listen, you could have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. You know, Sag, throughout this whole read, I feel like you're already in something committed. Oh, that's not even the word I want to use. Stable, that's not the word I want to use. You're already in some type of maybe living together situation or marriage here, Sag. But I feel like there's been some type of betrayal in the commitment or in the marriage. I'm not going to say commitment. I'm going to say marriage. It could be dealing with practicality, yes. It just can be that it was a betrayal in the marriage. You know, very well could be that with some type of cheating or lying going on there, yeah. But Sag, I feel like you're needing to make a decision or a judgment call moving towards your destiny here and starting a passionate new beginning elsewhere something elsewhere because it just makes me feel like you want to clear the air where are we going in this marriage or living together situation where are we going because i'm getting ready to do something that i really want to do but i'm trying to hold back i'm trying to do it at the proper time i'm trying not to overlap certain situations going on here sag it's like you want to do the right thing, but you know you're already out the door type of thing here, Sag. And it's nothing that they could say. Because I feel like there's more stability or something where you're getting ready to go. I'm going to take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you, Sag. And so, I am not available. I am not available. I don't know who's saying that. The person that you're already in a situation, in a marriage, living together situation with, I am not available. Or said you're, you're, you're setting the record straight with this person that you're in some type of marriage or living together situation with. And you're saying, you know, I'm just not available to you. 
or you're saying this to who this new boo that you're on the way to i'm just not available right now because i feel like you're holding back and you want to do things right sad you need to know this right now for june the 28th through june the 29th 2023 you guys give me feedback subscribe like comment and share and follow me on twitter at her immortal madge m-a-j and i'll see you guys next week peace